Hi, this is the very first video of 2020. I wish you all a very happy new year. And the first thing comes to all of our minds, new resolutions, new goals, and of course a new diary. I am someone who has notes everywhere, like in my laptop, my mobile phone, and even on scrap papers I find on my coffee table. And I always felt like there is information coming from all the directions. And when I really need something, I cannot find anything. So I decided to start bullet journaling this year. It's more about organizing things and I can be as effective as possible. And the real struggle is to find a journal which really matches my style and which I can always carry it around with me. So this time I am giving it a shot to try it making my own journal and I am really loving the idea and I can look more stylish than being a nerd. <laughs> and I am using a fox leather for the outer covering of my diary. And for the inner lining, I'm using a linen cloth which is from Laura Ashley and a floral print of the same fabric for the pockets. And I'm using this notebooks from IKEA for my inserts. And let's cover it with the wallpaper I have from Laura Ashley again. And I'm really loving that ivory shade which really matches my color palette. And precisely cutting it out to the size of my notebook and binding it with a double sided tape as you can see. And what do you guys think about this quick makeover? Let's get into the interesting part of the diary. I just cut all the fabrics to the size but now it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to sandwich it all together and we'll make it perfect later. I'm layering all the fabrics for a better understanding if that makes any sense. The floral fabric for the pocket, the interfusing paper followed by the lining again the interfusing paper and the fold leather and I'm fixing the interfusing paper to the lining make sure you face the glossy part to the fabric by ironing the glossy part of the interfusing paper is gonna melt and stick into the fabric by doing this it will add stiffness and will help to keep the diary in shape Again doing the same with the floral fabric. Leaving a little bit of room, I am going to finish the edges with the rotary blade before I stitch the pockets. You can also use the scissors but I think a rotary blade can give more finished look. And next I'm gonna stitch the pocket to the lining. I would say this is optional, you can even make it without the pocket. So let's get into the sewing part.
so now we are done with the pocket and let's bond it with the faux leather and you can collect the faux leather from any upholstery or curtain shop and using this double sided fusing paper which is a thin kind of material to bond the fabric to the faux leather you just have to be very careful while ironing over the faux leather because it can melt so my suggestion is to do a trial before you work with the real one and finally i'm going to correct the length and cutting out the extra fabric and don't throw it away keep it safe because we'll need it soon and i decided to give a top stitch hole around the fabric with the width of the footer and i think it will add a more professional look to the diary and measuring the spine of the fabric and marking it with the pins and then i'm going to add this rivet which you can collect from any craft or fabric shop it will give a more polished look and i'm going to hammer it and seal it in place with this little tool which comes along with the kit this is where the elastic is going to pass through and in the same way i'm going to add three rivets each at the top and bottom I didn't want to buy a fabric punja just for this project that's why I'm just using the hammer to make the calls so if it's struggling to get the fabric out just give it some help with the scissors once i applied all the rivets i started threading the elastic as you can see and make sure you don't make it so tight because you have to insert your notebook through it And to make the closure, I am using the fabric which we reserved before. I'm loving my diary and I can't wait to start bullet journaling and I also made one for him as a gift 
his preference was a darker color with a slight difference in the pattern and that is the beauty of it you can customize it in the way you want it So if you are liking this video, I can see it on the thumbs up button, hit a like and we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.